So if you are Wizard of the Coast, you, the, your rules committee for Commander, which is by far your most popular product, again, a product that you had no involvement creating. Let me repeat that again. Commander was specifically created, so Wizard of the Coast would not get their greedy hands on it. But as soon as Sheldon died, look at what happened. And shame on, shame on the rules committee for having such thin skin that they couldn't hold on in his memory. I'm going to say it, man. I mean, the dude loved Commander. He never sold out. He never banned what shouldn't be banned. His, you know, his philosophy was, I, I think they should have kept his philosophy. And at the first major banning, they cry and then go home. And Wizard of, Pop Up Wizard of Coach comes in and says, you know what? We got you, homies. We're going to take care of this. Again, Commander being the massive cash cow it is, this is a very, very bad sign for all Commander players. I can actually say this with a straight face. This is going to be incredibly bad. Incredibly bad. Um, how do I know this? Well, the person they chose to run the rule or be part of the rules committee, there's only one of them. They, so they, they were looking for applicants and he's like, Hey, why is this a non-disparage clause forever? Now he's the only one tweeting about this and Olivia has already accepted the two new members, right? Uh, what strains in all of this is only one person is talking about it. The other swallow that clause raw. I mean, the two members, their social media is their career, especially with Olivia, who shielded Magic 30th. So I think they are already comfortable selling their souls for an easy paycheck. As much as people want to think the rules committee cares about the community, it's not true at all. Blank and Kibler sold their souls. I believe the video... Yeah, so basically they unlisted the video. The video is only like a year old. They, un they had to unlist the video... And it was Olivia and Kibler. Kibler is the biggest sellout in history. He is the biggest sellout. He, he's coming. The only reason he's coming back to Magic is Hearthstone doesn't give him the views anymore. It used to do. Um, man, it's not good. And the reason it's not good is this is the team. We used to do a live stream about this. This is the team that um, created the. Dare to dream. What are you daring to dream about? You are daring to dream about pulling two black lotuses. So they wanted you to spend that type of money. They wanted you to. It was a thousand dollars, man. It was a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, guys, for four packs. Not great. Not great at all. When you talk about the longevity of the commander, my opinion is quite, quite simple. The, they're going to push the power level. They're going to ban any card that doesn't make sense uh, for the financial gains so they can print new cards. Or They're going to go for it. And I can tell you why they're going to go for it because they're a business. Every business needs to maximize its profit. Now you'd be like, oh, well, hey, they need to be think long-term. No, no, no business thinks long-term, guys. Uh, it, it's like the environment. No one, no generation can think long-term enough, okay, to like say, oh, well, we need to protect the next. No, F it. Cut down the trees, burn everything. Th that's been these, the same for oil production or everything. Like there's not a single generation in the history, the history of us being around, you know, humans that can think about the future long term. So that's where we are. Uh, I think in terms of why they picked her. I mean, does he love Commander? Does he play? Is he the old school player? And probably not. I, I can't find much information. I know Brian Kibler's divorced now. I did not know that because a lot of his play match was like him and his dog and him and his wife. There was a lot of celebration that Brian Kibler was like married, right? Because he's a magic player. Um, yeah, so uh, now he's doing Hearthstone. Hearthstone kicked him. Blizzard, okay, so Blizzard, that was a shitty company. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't want him to do events anymore because he had made a comment about, uh, but his comment was, 
that Blizzard should issue a penalty, and the actual penalty was too harsh, and he could uh, realistically never work with Hearthstone anymore. So he, uh, December 21st, 2019, so before the Magic 30th, he set him, him and his wife separated. So he's regular and has a reputation in the community being diplomatic, level-headed, and rarely becoming angry. He was pretty angry at me, man, on Twitter. He's a pretty angry dude, in my opinion. So I don't know what he's doing right now. Uh, what is he doing right now? It does not tell me on his Wikipedia. Uh, oh, he's designing games. It looks like he's designed Soulforge and was the lead designer of War, War of Warcraft trading card game. He was a design consultant for Eternal. And uh, now he's back to being a Magic Commander player because that's where the views are. I mean, it basically, the guy used to be a big Magic player. Now he's getting older. Uh, he's 44 years old right now and not married, single dude. And, you know, what is he? Uh, what does he have to do, right? I mean, Hearthstone, the views in Hearthstone are not going well for him. Oh, that is Olivia. Yeah, so his Twitter page is him as the Witcher and then Olivia. Or him at the Renaissance Fair. So he is dating Olivia. Huh. He is dating Olivia. Who is also... Oh, Hearthstone not doing well. What happened to Hearthstone? Why, how come there's no views? Yeah, MagicCon. Here's a picture of us last year with the floor staff. Who managed the impromptu hour plus long that formed when we stopped for a minute? I was way over character limit. Da 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 da. Was this enough? Got pictures back from our brilliant photo session with Underhill imaging, and there's so, so you know it's their whole lives are social media. But he's forty four, right? So like, how much longer do you, I mean? When he's like sixty or eighty, like he's still gonna do this shit or get like a job? You know, it's really interesting that so many magic influencers, they're so scared of like actually having like a nine to five job or owning a business or something like that. Right? I mean, what magic influencer actually owns a business? I'm not trying to think of one. No, the, their job is in influencer, right? And again, this is the team that bought you Magic 30th. So if you want to know like where their passion lies, it la lies in the cast, baby. Magic 30 is so bad, they unlisted this video. And then now the person, Olivia, is dating Brian Kibler, who recently divorced his wife. Well, I guess in 2019. Um, weird, right? Weird that these people who promoted the biggest money grab in history are now in charge of Wizards of the Coast. Commander, of all things. Where, again, the whole idea was to not give control over to them because you knew exactly you you don't need to be a, a mind reader to know exactly what's happening next to this mother effing format i don't like brian gibbler 